Hi and welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be about a small furnace which I've made uh, just for melting down some aluminium. Only a small what they call a coffee can furnace so it's about that height by about something that round. Just to melt, enough to melt a mug full of aluminium. Uh, the reason for that is I just want to learn about melting metal, uh, the processes of melting metal and whatever and how it reacts and you know various things. I want to build a bigger furnace at a later date to do aluminium and brass. So I've got plenty of scrap aluminium extruded and uh, cast, so I'm going to have a play with that. So what I'll do is um, I'll put the furnace up on the bench and we'll have a closer look at it, as well as the burner, which obviously gives it the heat. First of all, I've had some stickers arrive to the channel. Uh, these are from Australia. Uh, the first one is Matty's Workshop. And he's a prolific tool maker. Uh, he's made some lovely tools, and at the moment he's working on a corn tool and cutter grinder, which was uh, like a kit what you could buy, and then uh, that had bar stock, uh, castings, and that sort of thing. And then obviously you machine it, and you end up with a tool and cutter grinder. So well done, Matty, on the tool making. Now the next one is oh, Matty also sent me a postcard from where he lives in Aussie. Looks really nice, Matty. And the next one is Aaron over at Design, Creativity and Technology Solutions. Uh, Aaron's got two channels. He's got a machine and, uh, a manual machine and channel, which is really interesting. He's got a lovely Colchester lathe. And then he's also got a CNC channel, and he keeps those two separate. So both really interesting channels. Um, so there's the manual machine and sticker, and the Design and Creativity one. So yeah, so good Aaron, good channel Aaron. He's also a maker, um, he's also got this sticker as well. So another really interesting channel. So we'll put those on the board first and then we'll have a look at the furnace. So first of all we'll put Matty's on. And Aaron's. I think Aaron will fit in over here. And we'll put the design and technology one. We'll slot that in there. And then the makers one hopefully will fit in between. So yes, yeah, so new stickers to the board. If anybody wants to swap stickers, just uh, give us a shout down in the comments and then we can uh, exchange those. That'd be great to get some other stickers on the board. And uh, obviously I'll send some over to you as well. These are the components to the uh, furnace itself. So we've got a burner which just runs off an LPG gas bottle. And then we've got the actual furnace itself. The burner is um, obviously a gas regulated you know, pipe, special pipe uh, for gas. Comes through to these brass fittings. We've got a ball valve, ball check valve there to obviously turn the gas off and on and also adjust the pressure of the gas. And then that comes through the brass fitting and then we've got a blank on the end of that which has got a one millimeter hole drilled into it. And that spurts the gas straight into the tube and then obviously it sucks in air or you know, the, the open air from the back here, and then once you turn it up, that begins to roar, and it certainly does roar, it makes a bit quite a bit of noise. So that's the burner, and then we've got the furnace itself. So like I was saying, this is a just a coffee can, large size, size coffee can. Angle grind the top off, and then this is filled with, um, I'll put a mould in the middle there, and then filled with a mixture of refractory cement and perlite which gardeners use uh, like a white bead and that, that's what maintains the heat within the furnace. Uh, once that had gone off um, and dried further, thoroughly I then uh, done a weak solution of the refractory cement and then started building the inside up to give it a thicker layer on the inside here to help protect it against the heat. There's a few cracks starting to appear in it but it has done a few melts now. It's um, I don't know how long this will hold out, but it'll be enough just to learn the basics with. 
And then obviously we've got something to melt the aluminium in, which is just a stainless steel beaker. And as you can see in there's some aluminium what's left over in there. And uh, yeah, no, it works really well. Um, and that size aluminium will give me, uh, if I can just get these, when that's full up, that will give me that amount of uh, melted aluminium. So um, we just took these out. So just cupcakes. Um, yeah, so, and then this is what was left over. So I've machined a piece of uh, one of those down um, just to have a look at it and see whether I had any porosities in because when you melt aluminium you get um, gases build up within you know within the melted aluminium itself and some people use uh, chemical or um, some people use low salt what they call low salt and uh, they use that as a degassing agent to get rid of the gases within the melted aluminium but Luckily enough, this come out really well, and I'll show you a close up. That come out really well with no porosity in there, so I was really happy with that. I'm hoping that these the other ones are going to be the same as well, but there's no telling until I actually machine them. But like I was saying, this is all just a learning process, um, and I'm really interested to learn, you know, about melting aluminium and different effects and you know, casting sort of small objects and that sort of thing. So yeah, I'll show you um, something. So this is the Kurzel engine, which I haven't really done much else with, but this um, here is uh, actual one of those cupcakes melted down and machined to hold the magnet for the timing on the Kurzel. So, so I have actually used some metal, melted metal, so that was good. So we'll just put these away. So once I've uh, been messing around and melted the aluminium, worked out what temperature I need, and you know, just melting it and trying to get it to a decent, um, you know, state to pour. I then want to start making a few castings. So we've got some cat litter and. And we've got some sand as well so these are going to be mixed together to perform uh, to uh, turn it into what they call green sand so this is just natural clay natural bentonite clay and then we've just got some real fine kids play center sand and um, yeah it's going to be interesting I'm looking forward to it the cat litter has got to be ground down so I'm after a cheap second-hand um, percolator or blender or whatever they call them uh, just to do that with so um, I'll have a look at that once I've got that I'll mix them all together and get them in the right consistency and then make a mold and then we'll have a look at casting a mold so I, don't, I know extruded aluminium isn't very good for casting so I, I am going to play with that first obviously I just want to learn the basics and then I have got some scrap cast aluminium there as well which I can break up and then um, try that in a, in a mould as well. But I'm only going to be doing a real simple mould to begin with, just to learn the basics. So probably just, I don't know, just something really basic. Um, and then we'll have a look at that and see how they turn out. And then we'll progress on to something a bit more adventurous at a later date.